everybody from a beautiful night in Boston. We are at the TD Center, a.k.a. the house that Brian Scalabrini built. I am going to be taking questions all night long on Facebook. I have unprecedented access. It is a beautiful night here. The crowd is filling in. I'm excited. Playoff implications. Pride is on the line. We're going to talk Brian Scalabrini, the white mamba. Let's find him. He's over here somewhere. They call this the house that the Mamba built. Mamba! Hey, Mamba! Hey, Mamba! How are you? Brian Scalabrini, we're at the TD Center, a.k.a. the house that Brian Scalabrini built. First of all, in all seriousness, what does Boston mean to you? What does it mean to be playing once again in front of these fans? Yeah, I don't know. It might be my last game ever to play here. I come here every day for work, but these fans have always been great to me, so it means a lot, plus the fact that my son, who was born after I left, never seen me play in this building. Okay, so your son never saw you play in this building, so we really, really want to try to avoid embarrassment tonight. We really want to try to avoid embarrassment. Okay, now, one. more importantly, I've been in town two days. You said when you no get... No way. No way. Why you... can't you take me out to a proper meal when I come to Boston? You can't. Like, you have to text me and let me know. I'm already here. You're from out of town. Yo, I landed. How do you not do that? Everybody knows... That when a friend comes to town, I just landed. What's up for tonight? Just, just you know what? You're, focus, you're lying. focus you're on lying. trying not you're to lying. embarrass you're yourself. Lying. It's not true. Please don't focus on it. Focus on me. Focus on me. We're gonna go over here and talk to Kenyon Martin, one of my favorite players. My guy Kmart, looking lean and mean. You've been injured. Your team has been suffering. Pride is on the line. How frustrating has it been? to sit there and watch your trilogy team suffer this season? Um, frustrating is an understatement. Um, but um, just part of sports, man. Um, got off to a rough start, had a chance to bounce back and then go our way, but I'm saying we're going to fight. I'm saying we're going to keep fighting. Now, when you were with the Nets, you had some battles with the Celtics. What is your fondest memory about playing in Boston when you played? Sweeping them in this building. Rough, rugged, and roll with my man Kmart. You're looking lean and mean. Come over here. Let's see what else is going on. Rick Barry. Rick Barry's over here. Rick Barry. The great Rick Barry. Hi, Brian. Oh, that's right. You're not Brian. You know, they hold, they call this the house that Scalabrini built. Uh, who does? A couple, a couple of people. A couple of people and his family members. Let me ask you a question. In your career, you had battles in the old Boston Garden. What was that place really like, Rick? It was a rat hole. Was it really? Oh, there was rats running up on the things in the locker room. They would actually sometimes leave the windows open so it would be like a meat locker frozen to death. Or they close it and put the heat up so it would be like a sauna bath. It was it was horrible. What was the most you put up versus the Celtics in your career? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest. 50, 60? I, 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 I would hope that I got 50 sometime against them. <laughs> and, and, and in all your years playing against the Celtics, who was the most competitive Celtic that you had to deal with while you played? Oh, all the Celtics are very competitive. I have such great respect. A dear friend of mine now is, is, is Sam Jones, obviously Havlicek, who I have great respect for, and Bill Russell, of course, you know, the greatest defensive center in the history of the game. I remember, though, on a, we played a game in Fresno, California against Bill Russell, and I, because he was very, very cerebral. And I know when I made a steal, and he was under the basket when he made a, a, a pass, and I stole it, and he's waiting for me. And I said, the last thing he's going to expect me to do is dunk. And I actually went up and dunked the ball. He never left the floor because I outsmarted him. I always tell him about that because it was just the idea that it was a cerebral thing that I actually tricked him. All right, we'll try to get this win tonight. I just got word that 50 points in 1967. Rick Barry had 50 points in the old Boston Garden. Good luck tonight, Rick. All right, Brian, Jimmy. You do what you do, I do what I do. The stage, the cameras, the lights, the bowl, it's now all yours, fellas. <laughs> Michael Rappaport, thank you very much. Yes, we are at the TD Garden here in Boston in the first game of the night trilogy, taking on the Ball Hogs. As we take a look at the big three standings, and he's right, you got two teams here really playing for pride. Ball Hogs trilogy along with the Ghost Ballers all at the bottom of the league at one and five. It is week seven of the big three. Brian Custer alongside my partner, the All-American Jim Jackson. And, you know, Jim, crucial night here tonight because two teams can clinch playoff spots tonight. 
And really, with this game here, it is all about pride with these two well, teams. Well, two, two spots are open. Playoffs. Guys want to get in and be able to play next week. Atlanta, but then go to Dallas for the playoff. But this game is all about pride between the Ball Hawks and Trilogy. Trilogy won it last year. They were the bullies of the league. Things didn't work out, but you still have to play. Ball Hawks still trying to search for some kind of meeting. You win the game, you play next week, you walk out of here with a little bit of pride. Let's take a look at the lineups here for both of these squads here. And listen, for Trilogy, no Al Harrington. He's out with the knee. He's not going to be playing. So Rick Mahorn, well, they've got Al Thornton in, but Deion Glover, James White, and Rashad McCants will start things off. And for the Ball Hogs, Deshaun Stevenson, Andre Owens, and of course, the White Mamba, Brian Scalabrini, who is very popular back here in Boston. And it's the McCants, Deshaun Stevenson matchup you want to watch because it should be quite a good one. Well, it should, and also Kenyon Martin, when you heard Michael Rappaport see Andre Owens being aggressive early, so they're gonna play hard. And where you play hard the most is on the defensive end. So let's see if that really transfers over that effort, that pride, not to just the offensive end, but see if Trilogy can get consistent stops on the defensive end. And right in the post, they go to Rashad McCants, knocked away by Deshaun Stevenson. Here's Owens driving the baseline, but he looks like he stepped out. Oh, we got our. We got the ref. No one gloves. Glover will inbound. Off his hands. Come on now. Go to the ball. And here's the head coach of Trilogy, Rick Director, Mahorn. Director Glove right there. Pride yeah. of Hampton University. That's right. A little frustrating for him this year. Yes, I mean, it, it, it really was. I mean, we got so accustomed in waiting to see a post game. The bow in the center of the court from Trilogy. Rick was able to manipulate his lineup to make it work. But this year was a different story. Uh, team got better. Hey! The team got more competitive. But as a result, the ball all trapped it in. Trilogy wasn't able to make the adjustments. And plus, for the most part, Kenya Martin has been out as well. James White will bring it in for Trilogy. And they go to Deion Glover. Fades, knocks it down. Get him, Glove. Get him, Glove. Both of these teams come in one and five. By yourself. And to your point, Jim, Rick Mahorn even told me before the game, he said, listen, we gave up that game in Miami to power. That was a game he said I think could have turned our season around. Well, at that point, you beat the second, probably second best team record-wise in the league. And not that these guys need confidence, but you win that game, it puts you in a different light, a different category. Momentum shifts your way and how they lost the game when they were in the game, but couldn't finish. A lot like ball hogs, you see Andre Owens with a great play. Ball hogs have had the tendency to start off really well, but then they couldn't sustain it post the first half. Andre Owens has certainly sustained it. Andre Owens hot early now with seven points. We get one timeout. And the ball hogs have not missed a shot. They are perfect from the field, 4-4 four four thus far. Well, I talked about it. the effort. You can say it. If you're trilogy, we're going to give it. But it's going to show up more right. than Good anything on the defensive Great end of the court. Hey, so that's when you got to expend the most amount of effort in the is on the defensive end of the court. And only for the whole game. And there's no hey, uh, TV timeout. Uh, what's the name? Uh, what's the name? I got it. I got it. Got it. Fire. Fire. He's going to fall. He's scared of the Good fall. job. You know he's going to fall. Great job. Let's go to the third man. Our third man on the broadcast team, Michael Rappaport. Well, I'm happy to be here on a Friday night. I have so many mixed feelings about this building. Obviously, this isn't the building uh, that did the, the destruction to my New York Knicks, but I wanted to ask you, Jimmy Jackson, the old Boston Garden when you played centuries ago. <laughs> what are your memories? Is it, it Was it as rough and tumble uh, as it said for the, as, as, as it, historically it's documented for all the opponents? Well, Rick Barry said, Sometimes you could come into the locker room, it might be freezing. Sometimes it might be extremely hot. The showers may not be working, or it may just be cold. Yeah, with some rats running around. And once you got on the court, you had to figure out where the dead spots were at in the parquet floor. So you had dead spots. So you had to walk around with the ball and dribble and figure out, okay, that's a dead spot. I got to try to avoid that. But 
at the end of the day, it was still one of those historical places that when you walked in kind of like Madison Square Garden, that you just knew history was just all around you. That's cool. Stevenson misses the drive. Here's James White. They go to Rashad McCants. He turns, lays it in. Rashad McCants. Beautiful move that time. Just low post position. When he gets it that low, and he just he's determined to go and doesn't think about it, it's really nothing you can do unless you're going to double team. And a lot of times the double team can't get there quick enough. Here's Owens. Jab step. Spin. Lays it in. Oh, tricky Andre Owens. Oh, nice setup. But it was all because of the hard dribble with the left hand to the middle. Byers had to jump on it. And immediately, Andre Owens knew what he wanted to do with the spin. That shot too strong by James White. Go back to him. Yeah, here's Owens again. Working on Derek Byers this time. Switch it. Three, two, one. One second on his shot clock. Three's no good. Let's go. We need to stop now. You know, Seven point lead. You know, Brian Ball Hall. What'll be interesting to see is again, both of these teams still have another game to go. But next year, the philosophy once they get to the combine and draft, how they kind of retool their teams a little bit more because this is the second year that Ball Hogs has been unsuccessful in regards to really making it to the playoffs. So now you got to start to think a little bit more about how we draft, who we bring in. Same thing with Trilogy. Trilogy kind of stayed pat. That didn't work. So what's the philosophy, the mindset going into the offseason, into next year's uh, combine and draft? He's setting the pick. And the big problem for Rick Mahorn's squad trilogy has been injuries this season. Here's another jumper. Uh, Deshaun Stevenson. No Al Harrington. Who averages 18 and 6 for Trilogy. James White. Makes it home. And, and see, last year it was stop, he was the X Factor. Of course, it was Al Harrington, Rashad McKay. But James White filled the gap. When you helped off of those guys, he made you pay. This year he hasn't been as effective as he was last year. Good Brian Scalabrini, we yeah. can have it. Yeah, well, during the championship run, James White, we were accustomed to seeing these type of move, highlight plays. Let it go. Come we on, just man. haven't seen that same performance consistently from him. And I really do think hey, hey, that affected also Trilogy he holds in regards to them not being able to win yeah. the games that they were in. He just didn't have the, the same impact that he did last year. The Kants grabs the board. Here's Al Thornton working on Deshaun Stevenson in the post. Turns with defense. And Andre Owens lays it in. Remember, first team to 25, we go to the half. Yeah, Al Thornton not, not happy with that call, but Deshaun Stevenson said, listen, not a foul. Until it's a foul. Go by him! Nine point lead. Here's Owens now. He'll pull from three. That's short. Derek Byers, 18 footer, rattles in. Yeah, just watch him. Listen to you. Fuck. Watch the Scalabrini just pulling and flopping. You were three feet, you were three feet behind the line. By yourself. <laughs> By yourself. Oh. That's what. Here's Stevenson. Four on the shot clock. Goes baseline. Up and under, no. Well, early on, Andre Owens has shown why he's one of the toughest players to guard, why he's the number one pick in the draft, because he can beat you off the dribble, he gets inside, he's in that big body, he give enough space, he can make you pay from the perimeter. Again, the beautiful spin move setup and layup. Off to a hot start right now with 12 points. Five eight from the field. Please. Best reason. Talk it out. Yeah, on the jumpers as well. You I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. I get the point too. Hey, no foul. Switch. Watch the step in, Al. Hey, give me a bump yeah, on this. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, That's the voice of Rick Mahorn, head coach of Trilogy. No. 
Shot clock violation by the Ball Hogs. Sorry, man. Hey, hey, they, they only got two refs, right? Who knows? Let's go. Don't bail them out. Here's Thornton. Oh! You bail them out. Working on Corsley Edwards. Not saying you. Just keep attacking. Hey, shot it. You see the mindset shotty. right now of Get the players for Trilogy. And Rick Mahorn, he wants him to attack him off the dribble. Don't settle for jump shots. Again, I say the two-point basket can be your friend because it loosens up the perimeter so you can knock down jump shot like that. Here's the three by Thornton. You got to keep in mind, guys don't want to get beat off the dribble, so they're going to give you a little room to work with so you can get to your jump shot. But once you consistently beat your guy off the dribble, help has to come. That's when you get those open shots that are not as contested. As they could you couldn't be. see from your you couldn't be see, you couldn't see from your angle this angle his toe was on the line. Hopefully they have the right angle. So the refs are gonna take a look and make sure that was a three-pointer. Take another look or see if his foot was on the line. See, Al, see, from that angle, it looks like his front toe was right there on the line. Let's take a look at it from this angle, right? That, huh, I don't know. See, that's such a, because of the white line and the white at the bottom of his shoe. Yeah. You really can't tell if he was right behind it or. Sit back, DB. DB. If a little bit of his shoe was on the line. Relax. That's a tough one right there. Yeah. Even from the other angle, they kept it as a three. Okay. Unless it looks behind it. That looks behind it. Yeah. All right. Get him. Yeah. Let's go. It's behind it. Love, I can't sit down there. I got to hope. Shut up. Well, best thing about this game on Facebook who, is Michael Rappaport, who has unprecedented access, has Facebook questions for you. Rap, what you got? I have unprecedented access. My shirt proves it. I got questions from Chad. Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. Can anyone beat that team in a three-on-three? -three? That'd be a tough matchup. Ivan said, who is the meanest player in the league? Man, it probably... Gary Payton and Charles Oakley, man. It's hard to top those guys. Jesse said, who's the best defender in the big three? I'll ask Jimmy Jackson that question at the end. Uh, where can you get an unprecedented access shirt? My friend, this is a one of one. The Smith Sadie, the Smithsonian already called for it. Uh, but I'll ask Jimmy Jackson that question. Jimmy Jackson, who do you think is the best defender in the big three? Oh, that's a good question. You've got a few. I think Derek Byers is a really good defensive player. Even though he hasn't played as much, his activity is there. Um, Amari Stoudemire inside, able to switch and play perimeter guys, I think gives him an advantage. Hey, 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 they got four fouls. But of course, let it go. the man who's leading everything, who's the most physical, hey, leading the, the leading, shit they league in rebounding, us. is Reggie Evans. Reggie Evans just does everything. My question is to Michael Rappaport, when did we start getting custom shirts? No, we is plural. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, we when did plural. he yeah. start getting custom shirts to go along with his custom chair? Listen, listen, I'm just going to say this. Like I said, the Smithsonian already called for this. Uh, the Basketball Hall of Fame has reached out already. I'll decide what I'm going to do with this shirt at the end of the season. Uh, if you want one, I can hook you up. But you would be lying. Your shirt would be living a lie. You'd have unprecedented, it'd say unprecedented. And access, which you don't actually have. So it's up to you if you want to wear it. You live in that sort of lie. <laughs> you asked. You asked. I did. Gave him the platform. You're right. You're right. You're right. I did serve that up for him. Jermaine Taylor served up that three. Thornton ball fake, and the bank is open late here in Boston. No, I like that beautiful Let's move go. right there. He got to his spot. Thornton go. did. And Taylor went Watch for the up fake, and that's a tough shot because he's at a real weird angle, but he's still able to use the glass and fake it in for two. Ball hogs five oh points God. away from the half. They go into the big man, Corsley Edwards spins. And here's Derek Byers, got a piece of it, but they're going to call a foul. Yeah, let's go back to that previous play. Al Thornton gets to a spot, pump fake. 
Like I always say, stay down. Knock the Air Force down, don't want you. Now Harrington. Kind of liking that finish that time by Al Thornton. I know he's not happy that he can't be, that he can't participate in this game, especially here in Boston. Let's go, box out. Injuries are unfortunately a part of the game. He's averaging 18 and six. Of course, he misses that. Dang it! Post him up, Jay. Thornton to three. No, here's James White though. Stripped away. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there is no way. There is no way he was going up. There is no way he was going up. He had the ball and he reached in and knocked it away. He wasn't going up. Watch the replay when you get a chance. That was a joke. <laughs> you think he's upset on that one? Thank you. you think, let's, let's see no, if he's no, going he up. No, he wasn't going Look at him and Rick, Rick, Rick Mahorn. Look at this. We I kind of have to agree with Rick that time. It was a bang bang play, but it looked like still James White. The reach in on Taylor was a little bit right before he was trying to go up for a shot. Yeah, but he just gave up. You think, you know, and these coaches too. We're talking about being competitive and wanting to win, and Rick Barry could easily pack it in, but that's just not his nature. Owen, number three, Andre Owen. He's got 15. Go right by him, please. Ball hogs two points away from the half. Okay, guys, come on. Fired. I thought that was pretty good defense that time by Andre Owens, kind of anticipating where Derek Byers wanted to get to. And I don't know if his right hand maybe caught the body at the end with a little nudge, but I, initially I thought it was really good defense. Game high score, Andre Owens will have a seat. Sean Stevenson checks in. Maine Taylor reaches in on James White. But, but here's the second, it's the second time. No. Now you reach no. the first time the officials call. Don't really have to. You got James White under control. Now you reach again. Hence, you hadn't made the adjustment. Yeah, right there. Pick up a foul. You had him pretty much under control right there. Good shot. McCants and check back in. Give Derek Byers a blow. Here's Thornton. Open three. Yes. Again. Again. Let's run that again. Need to stop. 18 to 23 now. Five point lead for the ball hogs. Thornton's got eight. Here's Edwards. Shoulder bump. No. That's a bad shot. Thornton. The hot hand drives. Off balance, rolls out. Good job, baby. Don't bail, don't bail him out. So, I understand. So, if you, if you complain because you said you didn't call any fouls, did you call four fouls in two minutes? All of a sudden, you call four fouls in two minutes? I, no, I understand. I, I understand, but that's four fouls in two Thornton. minutes because he complained. Wait, four down, years. Put it down, put it down. Four seasons there in the league. Get the ball back, we get right there. Hey, Rick. It's that one to roll hey, in. Same play. Same play. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know if our we audience in here, but what Rick Mahoy wants is the same play in regards to getting Al Thornton on the line or isolation right here with James White. They go back to Thornton. He's got 10. In the lane. That's just short. I see, that's better defense. That time, Jermaine Taylor didn't bail, didn't bail out Thornton out by trying to reach in. And hits, takes a tough shot. You get it back out. You knock down a three when they're at halftime. Yes, yeah, so that three sends us to the half. Five Ball holds up six. Well, Jermaine Taylor playing great defense. Three minutes at halftime. Al Thornton didn't really commit on the defense end, defensive end to come out and contest the shot. So he's able to duck it in. Now, we've seen this before from the ball hogs. You take a nice, sizable lead in the halftime. The question has always been, how do you come out in the second half? Can you sustain that in order to get a W? Let's go to the man who's got unprecedented access, Michael Rappaport. All right, plenty of great questions on Facebook. You could ask me questions all night long. Alphonse, Alphonse said, who do I think could suit up from the big three in the NBA next season? And Mari Stoudemire, the right situation. I could see Stat back in the league. PJ said, yo, Rappaport, how good would Manu Ginobili be in the big three? I think Manu Ginobili would be fantastic in the big three, the big four, the big seven, or the big eight. Uh, Keith said, 
Uh, did you see this coming from Trilogy? They were playing so well. I don't think anybody saw it. They uh, have been a, a surprise and a shock. I think last year they were surprised and a shock that they went undefeated. No one would have predicted they would have struggled this month, uh, this uh, this much this season, even with the injuries. What's my favorite Ice Cube song? So many, I have to say, uh, Jacket for Beef. When you have unprecedented access, you will cough on air. <laughs> Tyler said, which of the Celtics' big three would be best in the big three league? I mean, I think the classic big three of Bird, McHale, and Robert Parrish, even though they don't have a point guard, I think they would figure it out. And finally, Jacob said, what's been the best part of season two of the big three? This, man, talking to the fans, unprecedented access, players, you know, I, 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 the only thing that's been tough is Brian and Jimmy. They're like weights on my back. Like, have you ever traveled like with like an extra carry-on bag? It's like two extra carry-on bags. <laughs> Fellas! You know what? I, I wasn't gonna respond to that. No, you should respond. <laughs> it deserves a response. We've been carrying Mike the whole no time. Season. Even when he thinks his unprecedented access gets him credibility. Absolutely. When they spell his name wrong, right. Rappaport. Yep. And last week, they put his name at the bottom yep. of the dressing room list. Yes. So how do you like that? And, and it's not like the players really want to talk to him. Katino Mobley doesn't, doesn't even want to talk, talk to him. They doesn't even want to talk to him. He thinks they don't. But I'll tell you what, my best part about I do love the interaction with the fans. In regards to the Facebook product, because there's been some great questions, and which tells me that a lot of people really are not just having it on for background noise, but are paying attention to what's going on with these games. Well, folks, every Friday night, Facebook is your exclusive home to the first game of the Big Three. And next week, we roll into the A, Atlanta. It all comes your way next Friday, August 10th. We are live 7 p.m. Eastern only on Facebook. Well, the head coach of the Ball Hawks is the Hall of Famer Rick Barry. And Rick, you go into this second half, your guys are up. Uh, tell me what you like, what you've seen so far in the first half. Well, I like that we were playing great defense in the beginning and uh, had a nice opportunity. We missed that one free throw that really hurt us, but we're taking you know, reasonably good shots, shooting the ball better, and hopefully we've been in this position like three times before, four times, where we have a lead and all of a sudden we start taking bad shots and we forgot what we did in the first half. So hopefully we'll duplicate the first half and be able to get a victory. Well, I mentioned that early on, Coach. And what did you tell your team at halftime in order to sustain the effort where they're at now and finish this out? Well, I just reminded them of what we've done, blowing these leads, that we have another opportunity to win and we just have to play smart basketball. And, and if we do that and take good shots, we'll be fine. Well, I want to ask you this, too. Rick Mahorn seems to be complaining at the referees about getting fouled. Did you? Yeah. Are, is it your turn in the second half? Yeah, well, wait a second. <laughs> we, we had a chance to do it, Mr. Free Throw. They had one. We only had one foul. He complained, and within two minutes, we had four more fouls. So I guess it helps to complain. <laughs> That's the Hall of Famer, Rick Berry. Thank you, Coach. Here's the White Mamba. Sky. The crowd wants it. He drops it and loses the basketball. That's the kind of stuff that we can do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is Sean Stevenson for three. Now, I wonder what his son thought about yes. that display of athleticism and balance right there. By Scout. The, the sad part is, all yeah. Scout told us was this is the first time my son is actually getting to see me play in this building. And look what he saw. <laughs> he got a little extended with his pivot foot and wasn't able to maintain his balance. His balance. <laughs> but can't hit the three. Here's Deshaun Stevenson. Al Thornton grabs the board. Three-point lead here for the ball hall. Five on the shot clock for James White. White misses that one. Andre Owens, he had 14 in the first half. Three, two, one. Here's Owens. Ball fake. Step back. Pulls it. McCants snags the board. Trilogy. 
The three, no. Stevenson wide open. Yes. But now, and I, and I, I love that play because it's quick. Got the ball out. Deshaun Shot sprinted Deshaun. to the open spot that time. Watch him hit on the arm, please. On defense, couldn't recover back in. Six point lead again for Trilogy. James White calls for it, spins baseline. Now, we said this is the first time Brian Scalabrini's son has seen him play in his building. Look at him pregame. He even went through his pregame. Look, his son was telling him, look, come off the screen, shoot the jumper, Dad. He's telling them. He's telling, He's telling them. them what to do. It, we saw the display when yes. coaches oh, always say, take it from the bench scout. to the floor. Thank you. I didn't see this that time, in. Scout right. left there, all that instruction on, on the bench. Uh, Rap, I know you were there courtside while that was going on. Scout was working with his son. Uh, well, that was fantastic. You know, that's one of the other things, going back to uh, uh, one of the things about liking the big three. Watching the players with their sons, Reggie Evans, uh, junkyard dog. Everybody's got their sons out. Uh, Hawks got their son, uh, his kids out today. I love that. That's not and the kids are so excited. Oh. One thing I'll say about Scal, I like to break his chops, but let us not forget that he's a NBA player, an hey, NBA whoa, champion, whoa, whoa, whoa. and that you know we can have fun with him now. He's not what he was when he used ball. to be. But he's a champion, oh, and it's like I put Brian Scalabrini up against any single person out there watching. If you want that white mamba work, he will give you that white mamba work. <laughs> that was the family hey, of Brian ball, Scalabrini you saw to sitting courtside. 100%. 100 that ball hit the rim. It didn't touch the rim. That ball hit the rim. You know what was the great thing about Brian it Scalabrini? I remember when the Celtics Ryan's won the championship hey, no in this foul, building. And you remember Pierce and all those guys oh, went to up, the up. interview room like they usually do after the championship. Right there. And for some reason, after all those guys that came in there, Scal came in. And, and members of the media were like, why is Brian Scalabrini coming in? And he gave the, one of the greatest things. He said, listen, I know you guys are looking at me crazy right now because we just so won the championship. Now but 10 years from now, I'm going to be the guy who scored 20. 15 years from now, oh, I'm going to be the guy who's the MVP the of the NBA here. Finals. He, he said, my legend will here. grow, and it has. I mean, Boston loves this guy. Well, you know what, though, but keep in mind, Scal made some big shots during that series, okay? I mean, like, he really came in and played. He, one, he accepted his role who he is. He's not trying to do too much. And then when they needed him to get some rebounds and knock down some big shots in critical situations during that series, he was able to do it. Come on, guys. And First that's the appreciation part of it. You're right. First team to 50 yourself, wins this one. Ball hauls no up pick. two. Pick. Here's Taylor. It's short. And I thought Taylor, Rashad McCann's got away no. with Chunk White ball. tapping the, the ball. shooting arm, hey, the shooting the elbow of Jermaine Taylor. Oh, it was right it. there in front of the official, so I, I can understand why he's block, upset please. that a foul Reset was not called. Block. You know, the interesting thing was Rashad McCann said, I love games like so this. He said, number one, because I'm going against Deshaun Stevenson. I know how much of a competitor he is. He said, but this is good because you have two teams who are playing for pride, and I'm curious to see who's going to quit. I love it. I mean, I, I love it because it's easy to fold it in. It's just like during the regular season of football, basketball, baseball, when you're out of the playoff hunt. Are you still professional? Do you still come and do your job? And that's what Rashawn McCants is talking about. And right now, both teams are playing extremely hard. Aaron Byers did his job. Knocks down that three, and all of a sudden, Trilogy has the lead now. And once again, coming out of halftime, the ball hawks. Don't have the same energy on the defensive oh, end man. that they had in the first half. Fucking push out. Trilogy has to lead by one. Watch the first one. Watch the Don't first one. him, man. I understand. I got you. But watch him first. One point lead right. for Trilogy. Let's go. Watch his off arm. First team to 50 wins. You got to win watch by two. Off arm. Here's Owens now. Yeah, it's all outside. We're and never going to the basket, guys. Nothing to the basket. Here's Byers. Ball fake. Huh? Oh. Derek Byers will go right to the now. line. Byers is from Memphis. Yeah, yeah I definitely do that. But Played his college the ball in Virginia, Vanderbilt. Spent a season in the NBA. All Played with the Spurs. Shot. 
Same old stuff. Four, right? like they jump a little over. Had a team high 15 last week. Hey, keep it You know, I really think if Derek Byers was before he came over from Three's Company, he was here a little bit early. He could have been a guy because of his energy in those close game situations that could have got a deflection, got a steal, hit a big shot. Hey, we even kind of put this trilogy team back on pace to win more games. Keep in mind, Jim, Ball Hogs had a six point lead. You asked Coach Barry about this. He said, We can't blow leads. Trilogy on a 9 0 run before that three. Well, real simple. That's all, let's go. You didn't settle in the first half. You attacked off the dribble and you played outstanding team defense. And what happens in the second half? You gotta let the defense go. Start shooting jump shots. Hence, Trilogy is able to get back in the game. Tied up. Taylor, not anymore with that three. 38-35. We're in the penalty. Take him. Take him. Rick Mahorn wants him to drive to the basket. Byers misses the three. Stevenson. Go to home. Inside the mechanic. And Deshaun Stevenson that time is saying that. Rashawn McCann the didn't clear outside of the, the lane and go. then reestablish himself back in. Right. Let's go, let's go. So you have to do that in order to receive the ball to score inside. And Deshaun Stevenson didn't think McCann's clear. One point lead. And Stevenson drives. Hey, you got the better position right here. No foul. And this is what I'm talking about right here. If you can see, well, he was outside the lane, then he walked in. He holds him first. He can't be fouling. So let's take a look. How did you hold him first? You really, you can't tell from that part, that angle, was he really outside of the lane and walked himself in? And I think that's what the reason for, or the issue of contention was right there for Stevenson. Just watch. Here's Deshaun Stevenson, one of the co-captains of the Ball Hogs, averages 11. That one's too strong. Stevenson right at his season average right now of 11. Here's James White, spins. Good block by Andre Owens. Byers, the follow, yes. And he's limping. You all right? Hold on, hold on. You all right? One point lead for Trilogy. You all right? Hold on. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. By yourself, Glove. Stevenson, three. Yes. Three. And see, with Deshaun Stevenson, you got to close his airspace. James White was there. Let's go. But being there is not good enough. You, you have to be able to crowd Deshaun Down. Stevenson. Down. They can put it on the deck a little bit. Oh, man. Taylor. All of a sudden, the ball hogs now. Just seven points away from victory. Let's go to Michael Rappaport. All right, I got great questions on Facebook Live. What cities would you want to see the big three expand to next, next season? Let's go back. Let's double up. Let's go to Utah. Let's go to Dallas. Let's go to Houston. We'll go to Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden would be ridiculous. Who gave me unprecedented access? D asked that question. D, the game is to be sold, not to be told. Noah said, what's the most important skill set in the big three? Is it speed, shooting, physicality? I think all of it. I think the, uh, the sleeper skill set is the physicality, but basketball is basketball. This is high level basketball, but I think the physicality is the sleeper skill, is the sleeper skill set. Will said one on one. Jimmy Jackson and I play a game to 10. Jimmy Jackson gives me eight points. Who wins? Back in the days, I would never say that I could beat an NBA player, but all I need to do is score two points on Jimmy Jackson. Now, the guy who plays golf eight, nine times a week, games to 10, eight point lead, I get the ball first. That's easy work, Jimmy. That's listen, easy work. Hey, listen, my man. That's I, easy work. I, I will smoke three cigars and have a couple That's of adult beverages. Yeah. And maybe even give you yeah. the ball so you can make it, take it. 
and you will not score a bucket. Oh, Jimmy my Jimmy Jackson, goodness. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. What you going to do? I'm taking you to the low post. No, I'm forget, pump faking forget. you. I'm jump hooking you. The but, game's but, over. But why would you think I would go for a pump fake when I know you can't score? Then I'm just going up right oh, there. What, whatever. With that 73-inch reach. <laughs> Fellas. Oh, my god. That's 73-inch reach. Oh, my god. Someone help this man. Someone help this man. Four-point lead for the ball hog, Andre Owens. Four on the shot clock, lost it. Deion Glover missed the bunny. Oh, my. You got to pay attention, guys. If he was paying attention, you know what? Coaches right now would be just frustrated right now if they saw this kind of pump face <laughs> from a player. You know, they would just sit him down. Oh, another layup miss. That's Man. two layups by Trilogy right now. Uh, Rick Mahorn needs a hug. Any more than that. Here's the shot in the can. That's what he needs more of right there. He needs more of that. Two-point lead. Need a stop. No, can ball hogs finish it off. Oh, Main Taylor. Good drive, miss. Yeah. We got a tie ball game, and Rick Barry has seen enough. His trilogy has come charging back, and we got a tie ball game at 43. Okay, under control. Come on, guys. That's a good attack. That's right. It's a good attack. It's a good attack. That's all. That's what we want. We want you going to the basket. When you just don't sometimes just stop and gather. Not and enough of this all season right here from Rashad McCants. I know he's scoring a lot, but the impact hasn't been the same. And underneath Jermaine Taylor misses, doesn't hit the rim, so now Trilogy doesn't have to clear. He can take it right back up. And hits. We got to go. We're back tied again. Don't give up my air. If the guy goes spot up, you can kick it out, and you can shoot that open three, all right? Let's get a basket right here. Basket here. Hey, yeah, I also good. like the one that you did when you come you got, about. Well, as you can see, this is actual unprecedented access. How's it going, fellas? I'll see you later. McDonald's. Listen, both of these teams have been inconsistent all this season, and that's the reason why both of these teams have been struggling. And we're seeing it magnify in front of, I don't even know what that word what, is, what? but we're seeing it happen in front of our face. This is the reason why these teams haven't been successful, because they can't close out games, and they're not consistent throughout the games. Don't you think stop. so, fellas? No, I just want to know where it magnified came from. I don't know what that was. <laughs> is that part of your unprecedented um, oh, language? Gosh. You know what, Jack? I don't even know what word I was going for there. I, I, I know sometimes when I screw up a word, I don't even know what word I was going for there. I think I'm a, can I use that in words of friends? I say we patent it, we go 50-50 on that. <laughs> Thornton misses. We're tied up at 43. Stevenson for three. Here's Derek Byers. Working on Owens, too strong. First time. Go to the basket. I mean, I'd rather shoot it the first time. Especially when you're in the ball. Oh, yes, show. yes. I think we got one more. Easier said than done, obviously, for both teams. Owens follows his shot. See, it takes a little bit more energy to have to beat your guy off the dribble. A lot of guys would just settle for a contested jump shot. Hey, 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 Shawty. The basketball we're playing now compared to the first half is like it's like a different freaking team. I don't why do we not want to do what we do? I just don't understand it. I can understand how we don't just move the ball and cut. Should I get come on guys? You hear Rick Barry. Go to the basket. Telling his guys we want him to go to the basket. Stevenson, there's the drive, and there's the regen. Well, I mean, keep it as simple as possible. What's been working for you? Of course. Trilogy will make some adjustments on the defensive end, but they haven't made yeah. enough adjustments to keep ball hogs from driving. The ball hogs themselves limited that aspect of the game because they began to settle just for long contested jump shots. Stevenson will go to the line one for two. This is that one. He's Myers. Myers backs down Taylor. Spin. Missed it. Now Owens. The pull-up. Wow, tried to bank that home. 
Now all of a sudden, both teams have fallen in love with the jump shot. So Myers lays that one in. Two point lead for Trilogy. Let's go to Michael Rappaport. All right, I'm go. on the bench here, no Scal. Your team is... 43. Why are you on the bench right now with me? Because I have unprecedented access, and I'm talking to you about your team's inconsistency and inconsistency. Now, you seem to be confused that Trilogy complains a lot. That's what they do. You're on the bench. The people want to see you play. I say this might be a little cool. I'll get, so I'll get, uh, Mamba? Yeah, Mamba. <laughs> Not Jermaine. Mamba! We need to get his shot. Mamba! Nobody has made a shot. He's been missing everything. The Mamba's walked away from the interview. Come on, Debbie. The ego has gotten hold of him. He's in Boston. You know this guy's been promising me dinner for six weeks. We get to Boston. Not one phone call, not one text was responded to. So what, Mamba? So what? Trilogy with a four-point lead. Three points away from victory. And, and this is the guy you got to go to right here to close it out. Rashad McCants, especially on the block. And he spins, dunks it home. And Trilogy now just a point away from victory. And Deshaun Stevenson is laying down hurt. Yeah, I think he did. And he's pointing to the ground like he may have slipped on some compensation on the floor. Just take a look right here as can't right there. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but that little movement right there, especially for the inside of the groin, when you stretch it out there, all the weight is distributed one way. I mean, it doesn't look painful, or it doesn't look like it's a tough end, but it is. Six-point lead for Trilogy, a point away from game. Second half, I take Let's do it. Oh, got him. Scalabrini checks back in for the ball. Oh, they Try run the weed. Oh, Here's Taylor. Oh, oh. Lays it in. Well, you know Trilogy doesn't want to foul, oh, because if they foul, they score. Being the no, ball hogs, they get the chance no, to get to the free no, throw no, line no, and get back. So. Rick Mahorn has been here before where he's told his truth. It's what happened in Miami. In Miami, we're up. Okay, if they score, don't foul. We get the ball back and we can end the game. Here's Derek Byers. Let's see if they close it out with Rashad McCants. Their leading score. Spin. Take. Yes. Point. Game. Trilogy. Rashad McCants closes it out. He's the leading scorer, and Trilogy racks up their second win of the season. K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. Rashad McCants is so tough to guard on the block. Why would you go anywhere else? He's been having his way all evening. 16.7 for eight shooting, and a lot of it has been drives like this or post-ups like this, so Rick Mahorn smartly Anchors Rashad McCants on the block and said, young fella, just go to work. Well, he he had the Michael Myers mask on, and he was certainly scary tonight. He's with our Michael Rappaport. All right, I'm here with Rashad McCants, a.k.a. Michael Myers. You guys pulled out this win. It's been a tough season. What does it mean to you to pull this win out, although you guys have been struggling? Man, it means a lot, man, because wearing those masks and losing, that shit ain't fun. But we persevere. We try to win every game. We play hard, and it's a good outcome. Now, what mask can we look forward to the remainder of the season? Do you have any? What other masks do you have in your tricks? Well, if you think of all the villains and all the, the super bad guys, I'm going to pick one of them, for sure. The next one's going to be epic, for right. sure. Well, congratulations on the game. Congratulations on uh, uh, coming back after that injury. And continue doing your thing. Finish out the season Man, with integrity. I got my book coming out, Plantation Education, August 28th. Check it out. All right. Rashad McCants, unprecedented <laughs> accents. Jimmy, Brian, beautiful night in Boston. We're just getting started, fellas. Yes, we are. What a way to start things off. Don't forget, check us off. Check us out at the top of the hour on FS1. The Killer Threes and Tri-State will start, start things off 8 p.m. on FS1.